Good morning. It is a good morning. <laughs> I'm celebrating my 35th Amen. year of 18. <laughs> my my 35th year of being 18. <laughs> a refusal to grow up. <laughs> Yep, <laughs> she's got a house full of youngins. <laughs> I'm in Jeremiah this morning. You know, before I start, let's let's pray. I just there's it's this is all my heart heavy, Lord. Father, I just Father, I just want to lift Kathy up to you, Lord, and I know. Father, I just I just lift her up to you, Lord. Strengthen her, Lord. Strengthen her, Lord. Comfort her, Lord. Give her clarity, Lord, and your peace, Lord. Heal her, Father. Heal her, Father. And and Jacob and Mark, Lord, I know they're both struggling today, Lord. And and I just lift them up to you, Lord. Lord, you know. You know what's needed. You know what's needed there, Lord. And and um and I just lift it up before you, Lord. You place this on my heart, Lord, and I know there's a reason, Lord. So I just want to give it to you, Lord. Um, I know there's so many others hurting right now, Lord, and going through stuff, Lord. And we just raise them up before you, Father. We know that you haven't abandoned us. We know that you're there, Lord. And sometimes we don't know why. We don't know the reason. Sometimes we got to go through stuff, Lord. And But yet... You haven't left us through it all, Lord. So I just, we just, we just lift these people up before you, Lord, up before your throne, Lord, interceding for them, Lord, and Lord, heal them in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, I'm in uh, Jeremiah this morning, Jeremiah 31. You know. We all go through stuff, and we don't know why. We don't. It, it floors us. It it devastates us. But yet, God's going to carry us through, and He has some promises. And there's a beautiful promise here in Jeremiah. Um, I I know it was written for a different situation, but I know when the Lord speaks, it it, it has such a broad diversity to it because it can reach us where we're at. And that's what this is doing right now. This is a beautiful scripture of a beautiful promise. It's for us. It's for our children. It's for those people around us that we see hurting and broken. And, you know, we can just have a confidence in Him. He says, 31.16, This is what the Lord says. Restrain your voice from weeping and your eyes from tears. For your work will be rewarded. Look, you're, it's not in vain. He's telling you, just keep going on. Just keep pushing through this because it's not in vain. Because it will be rewarded. Because He hasn't left you. Just because you're feeling that way. Just because you're allowing that, those things to drag you down and separate you. He hasn't gone anywhere. And your work will be rewarded. And He hasn't left you. declares the Lord, they will return from the land of the enemy. That's those we're praying for. That's us. Amen. We're going to return from that land. So there is hope for your future, declares the Lord. Your children will return to their own land. We just got to let go and trust in God. We can't let stuff floor us. And I know I've been saying this over and over, week after week, but it, 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 there's a reason for it. It's where God's put my heart at. It's where God's showing me lately. There's a reason for it. And so um, as long as He's pulling me to it, I'm going to speak it. That's, we need to cling to Him. We need to not let this world drag us down. We need to not let 
what we see happening to others drag us down. We need to pick it up and we just need to keep giving it to God. He's, he's going to. Your work will be rewarded. Don't give up. Don't give up. They will return from the land of your enemy. So there is hope for your future. Declares the Lord and your children will return to their own land. We need to trust in God. We need to just let go. Let go of all the world says. Uh, you know, all, all the world says there's no hope. All, all is despair. We need to let go of all that. We need to give it to God. Because as Lou said it, all of this is passing away. All this is passing away. Um, I, I'm... Um, while Luke was, or while, while Lou was speaking, I was I was reminded of a scripture in Second Corinthians. You don't have to turn there, but therefore we it's Second Corinthians four sixteen. Therefore we do not lose heart, though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. You know what? Though this life is falling apart, though these things are falling apart, this body is getting older. He didn't promise we're going to get through it intact. But our, but day by day, our spirits are being renewed. There's a newness in us. It's a young, viral spirit within us that's growing and that's eternal. We can't let the world... Let, let these afflictions, this, this body getting older, we can't let it drag us down. The limitations that the body puts on us, we can't let it put, drag us down. We can't let us drag us down. Ralphie, he's been in the hospital for four months now. But, but I see a joy out of him. The stuff he posts, he's clinging to God. He's not letting it drag him down. I'm sure he has his bad days, but you know what? We need to just keep giving it God because we don't know why. And we might not ever know why in this life, but we need to trust the one that does know why. We need to cling to him with all of our heart. Not just half-heartedly. We don't know why. But we just need to let go and give it to God. Trust Him. Trust Him with everything. Trust Him with everything. That's our life. That's where our hope is. That's where our future is. It's in Him. Amen. Father, we just we thank You, Father. We thank You, Father, that when it does feel hopeless, Lord, when we do feel abandoned, when we do feel that You're not listening, Lord, that we know... We know, Lord, you're there. Help us, to, help us to shake those off and just cling to you, Lord, and cling to your promises, Lord. Not let the enemy dictate what our life is. Not let circumstances dictate how we're going to feel. But, but to cling to you, Lord, your joy, your peace, it's, it's eternal. Jesus said, my peace I leave with you, and I do not give as the world gives. Father, the world can't take it away from us, Lord. Help us to see that. Help us to realize that and to cling to that, Lord. To look to you, Lord. To reach to you. You are our hope. You are our only hope. You're our everything, Father. Help us to trust in you. To look to you through all of it, Lord. Father, we thank you for this time to give back to you, Lord. And, and our giving is, is not of our money, Lord. Our money sometimes holds us back, Lord, and that's why, that's why you made it this way. To let go of that. But it's our hearts, Lord. And then letting go, of, letting go of our money, letting go of the burdens of this life and giving to you, Lord. It helps us to just give our heart to you, Lord, wholeheartedly coming to you, Lord. Bless those who give. Bless those who cannot, Lord. It's the heart you're after. And Father, we just pray that, that this offering would be a sweet, fragrant aroma to you, Lord. That you would see the, the heart that's behind it, Lord. And you would use it to further your kingdom, Lord. That you would multiply it. We thank you, Father, and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen.